guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you the coolest braid on the internet right now, this awesome figure eight braid. I just love the detail of this braid and I love the edgy vibe that it has. I think that it's so cool, perfect for summer. And what I love most about this braid is it looks a lot more difficult than it actually is. So if you want to know how to recreate it and get a really awesome arm workout, then let's get started. To make this braid easier on yourself, just brush all of your hair back and make sure it's free of all knots and tangles. Feel free to begin the braid wherever you want, but I'm going to section my hair off at my temples so that mine starts right at the back of my head. With your section, just divide it into two equal pieces. This braid is similar to a Dutch braid, so you want to grab a very small piece from the outside of your right section, just like this one. So first step, take that small piece and bring it underneath our right section. Then bring it over the left section. Now pick up a very small section from the side of your head. Smaller the section, the better the result. You want to join it into that small piece and finish the eight. So we're going to go underneath the left section, and then over top the right section. So we just finished our first figure eight and we just wanna repeat that. So now grab a very small piece from the right side of our head and join it into that small section. Try to keep everything nice and tight and then weave that small piece underneath the right section and then up and over top of the left section. Again, grab a very small piece from the left side of our head and join it into that small section. Leave it underneath the left piece. And then over top of the right piece. So now we've completed two figure eights and once the braid starts to form, it gets a little bit easier. So one more time, I'm gonna grab a small section from the right side of my head and join it into that small piece. And as I bring it underneath my right section, I'm pulling everything nice and tight. And then I'm gonna bring it over the left, making sure that everything is still tight. And then I'm gonna grab another small piece of hair from the left side of my head. Join it into that small section and try your best to keep your sections separate so that they don't tangle. And then you're just going to bring it underneath that left section. And then bring it over top of the right section. And you just want to continue this pattern all the way down the back of your head. As the braid starts moving down your head, you want to make sure the pieces you're grabbing from the sides of your head are roughly the same height. It just helps to keep everything nice and tight. And as you keep braiding, your arms are going to get very tired and you're going to want to grab larger sections to speed things up, but don't. This braid is quite tedious and will only really work if you're grabbing really small sections. In saying that, feel free to take breaks and let your arms relax and I'd recommend looking into a mirror while you're doing this or at least checking halfway through to make sure that everything is turning out how you expect before you get too far and it's too hard to correct. Once you've finally reached the bottom of your neck, try to keep everything as tight as possible and secure it with a hair elastic. You could continue this all the way down the rest of your hair. If you do, let me know because you are a champion. If there are any bare spots showing, no problem, but if you want to cover them up, just gently tug on the hair that's going horizontally to give it a fuller appearance and it'll help cover those up. And then one final touch to complete the look, just grab a small piece of hair from the outside of your ponytail and you just want to wrap it around your hair elastic. And then take a bobby pin and secure the end of your hair to the underside of your hair elastic to hide it. So there you have you guys, that is how you create the figure eight braid. I just think that this is the coolest braid since the chunky pull through braid. I absolutely love it and I would love if you guys tagged me in your recreations. I just think this hairstyle is so cool and I would love to see them. But I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below and if you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. This braid definitely took me a lot of practice and a ton of arm work so don't give up if you get discouraged, I promise. Keep practicing and you'll get the hang of it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Check back soon because I'm going to be uploading my updated blowout routine for those of you asking. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.